Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Roberts if you didn't know already and I'm going to be doing a bit of a body update again for you guys. I realized that it's been another two weeks since I posted my last, since I did my last video of what it was on and so I thought I should post another one for you guys. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to a shoot so I don't know how much content I'm going to have to show you guys but I thought I would do like a day, daily day in my life kind of thing, a daily vlog since I haven't done one in a while and I thought I'd take you along with me to South Australia. So I'm currently in South Australia in Adelaide and I am with Rider Man today and we are shooting a bunch of new collections and like Black Friday sales and all that kind of stuff. So In those two weeks since then, it's, there's been a lot that's been going on. So I finished my shoot and then I filmed for you and I told you guys the update, which was on how I lost yeah, I lost a kilo and I went from body percent um, from 24 to 20. Third week in my third session when I trained with Iron Body. I'll put the video of when I trained with Iron Body here. I trained with Iron Body, and as you can see, I was like not excited to train with him in the third week, as you can see here. Hey guys, so I have just rocked up to Iron Body. I'm about to walk in. It is a Wednesday, so I have my session on today. Today is my third session, and I am so not keen. <laughs> Only because I know that, like, whenever I try train with Iron Body, I'm obviously gonna have to train at 110% and like push it to my absolute max. And so I'm like a little bit apprehensive for that, but I'm ready for it. And I want to give my legs a big working because I haven't actually given them a good working for a little bit. I feel like my bums slightly shrunk, probably a little bit, because I've lost a kilo and I've probably lost a little bit more since last week. So I feel like I've lost a bit of like fat or something on my bum and like I just I'm like I feel like I need to work on my ass and work on my legs a little bit more today because I've been doing a lot of arms and shoulders and back but not a lot of legs well I have been actually I've been doing like three sessions a week but I just don't feel like I've been feeling it as much as I normally do so I'm very keen to get in today and get a going I'll show you guys how it goes but i think i'm going to bring you the camera in today see if i film if i film then i film if i don't whatever but yes a wednesday and i'm very excited to show you guys the reason why was because i was just really like nervous and apprehensive i knew that like you'd have to like when you train with him you have to train it like your hardest and so <laughs> i was kind of like not feeling it that day but so i was keen to do so and then as soon as i trained with the iron body i felt so much better afterwards as well Yeah, I spit raps like a heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions, back don't ask, grab reactions, jacked attack with every word, then act with class as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new silver excuse, I need the views to boost me through a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace, now you're dead to me so peace out, remember you're discreet now. Keep ready for defeat now I'm gonna make you bleed out Listen on repeat now And read out all the week now Get up and make a change Don't remember yesterday If you got something to say Speak your mind before you're great Cause your life is yours the same Ain't nobody gonna change Everybody stays the same So be different, make a name, huh? I keep on moving forward I'm a 
happier and more motivated and healthier afterwards it's crazy like the endorphins that is released during a workout it's like it's crazy yeah, I was very happy at the end that I did do that workout we did my body fat percentage and everything and I actually have gone from 24% body fat down to 18% body fat which is actually amazing so I have literally dropped another I dropped like 6% body fat in Three weeks was such an amazing achievement for me. I was so happy with that. And I lost another kilo. So I lost two kilos in two weeks. So that was very exciting. That was on the Wednesday. And then had the Thursday, which is when I was going away to Rome. So I was, as I just posted a YouTube video of it, went away to Rome from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And so I was away for like five, six days where I was camping in the middle of fucking nowhere. So it was like, it's just sand. It's like it's literally just camping. There's like nothing around. So I had to prepare everything prior and I did. And I did so and I like prepared like really well. He said that it's fine because I'm so far out from my competition that I'm not training every day during those five days. I did like try to put like a shovel behind my back and put some sandbags on each side and do some squats while I was there and just some stuff with some bands but um, I didn't get too much time to do that we're pretty active anyways with like four driving whatever you're shoveling all the time like you're constantly doing stuff so you are being active you're just not being active in the way that you're used to and I was eating really well as well so like as much as there was so many temptations to everyone was making like sausages and hamburgers and they were having chocolate and like s'mores and whatever i didn't do that i had my avocado on bread with two eggs so we upped my we upped my carbs in the morning and we put bread with that so i had bread with avocado and two eggs and then for lunch i had mints with rice and rice and 100 grams of vegetables and then for dinner 100 grams of rice 100 grams of vegetables and 150 grams of chicken no i think it was 50 grams of rice sorry yeah and then i just made it into like a nice little like a nice little rice dish and just made it like into a kind of like a stir fry and just mixed it up and it was hard because it's hard to like have the exact amount of gas to be able to power that when you're out there but it was fine I was really good like the cooker worked well and everything worked well and so I did really well with that the only thing I didn't always eat was oats at night I was supposed to have oats after my dinner and I was also supposed to have a banana for lunch which was with 
with was which was with protein um and i didn't always have that together so i just have a banana and just by itself and then i'd have a cup of protein in just a glass of water I just shake it up and just have that after dinner i didn't always have my oats so that's the only way that i was like not great is i didn't have my oats with my protein i had to, to make up for it the next day but i probably didn't make up for it adequately i do find that i did pretty well in that whole experience because it is pretty hard while you're camping to stay on track and i did so i'm very proud of myself but and that was like i was pretty scared for that because i've done so well and i didn't want to go like that and then just plummet back down which i didn't so that's exciting i did miss my fourth training my fourth week training session with iron body because i was away for that day as well so as soon as i got back on the tuesday from road which is in south australia from four wheel driving that whole trip i then came back to melbourne and went on the Wednesday at 4 a.m. in the morning. I got up and I went to Adelaide. So if you guys want to see that, I can put that here for you. I am currently at the Adelaide airport. So I just had a flight this morning, got out of bed at 4 a.m. this morning and went straight to um, that Melbourne airport and got a flight to South Australia, so Adelaide, so that I could go and meet the Rideware family. So I'm actually doing a day of shooting with the Rideware family today. I'm very excited for that, so I'll show you guys everything that I can for that, but currently I'm waiting for my Uber to get here. I'll be going to the Rideware HQ. So I'll show you guys and try to take you along as much as I can with me. Just arrived at the Rideware HQ in the little influencer um, athletes room. So I'm about to get ready. They've got like a little table and everything set up. How cute is it? And little like bowls for you to use and drinks and stuff. So cute. So I'll be showing you guys some of the shoot shots later and anything else that we do. But yeah, like how cute is that? I'm just gonna get ready now. Um, but yeah. Hey guys, so I have arrived at the Right Away HQ. I've just done my makeup. I'm in the little room now. We do your makeup and everything, and they've set up like. I just finished my makeup as you can see here. I tried to do full face but like as minimal as possible. We're gonna be doing a lot of like active stuff today, so I need to so I need to actually look like I was going to gym. But, so yeah, so today I'm going to be shooting with Right Away and I'm very excited to show you guys everything that it looks like at the end. Hopefully we get some good footage. <laughs> It's now 4pm, we're still shooting. <laughs> Hopefully. Cubes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're almost done though, hey? What? I think we're almost done though. I hope so. I think so. Okay. Because I've got to go back to the airport in two hours. We just finished shooting. Yay! So I am now done. I have literally just changed outfits. Like, I'm not even kidding. A hundred and one times. But that is okay. And so, yeah. But now we're done shooting and it is 4 pm. Got to get my shit together and then go to the airport for my 7 pm departure. So, yeah, how exciting. But it's been a good day. It's been full of content and everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
I just got home and it is 11.30 at night and so I have been up since 4am till 11.30 and I just got home so I'm actually fucking buggered. <laughs> so I am over and out for tonight and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Look, I'm so like, so tired. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, I went to Adelaide and we did heaps of shooting and in the morning I had went to the airport at 4am and at 5am I, no, at 6am I got my bread with avocado on it, the only thing I didn't have was an egg and so I just, that was okay, like I just tried to make up with that during the day and I had, yeah, so I had that and then I went on the plane and I actually got this jet bloat which was like so bad for the shoot. I, got on the plane at 7 a.m. and I went to Adelaide in South Australia and like I literally had the worst jet bloke oh jet bloat oh my god like my stomach was in so much pain and it was bloating massively it's like when apparently like your intestinal your intestines aren't like something's wrong and like something's compressed and it's just making you bloat and like it hurts like it literally hurts like the compression from being up in the air it like hurts your intestines and stuff like that and so all that happened anyways uh, i was a pain in the ass but i got through it and the shoot was great and i had a really like heaps of fun with right away i'm hoping to do it again soon because that was like a lot of fun and then after that I came back home that night and I got home and honestly about 12 p.m. that night So I had like a huge day like constantly doing something like I was constantly moving constantly doing something to go from being away in South Australia on holiday to come straight back and do that again like go back to South Australia <laughs> was like uh, it was annoying, but Didn't eat the exact right amount of meals. I tried so hard to like try and adapt um, while I was in South Australia for my shoot, I had two, but I didn't. The boys that were with me gave me some rice cakes instead. So I had a couple rice cakes, had a couple protein balls, just to keep trying to eat a little bit. But my stomach was already feeling like so shit. So I didn't want to like go over top. I was just trying to drink as much water as I could so that my stomach would like I was keeping hydrated and like I wasn't, you know, trying to compensate for that. My body wasn't. That was not fun. But then the next day I got straight back on track. As soon as I got home, even though it was 12 p.m., I went and had my oats with my um, protein and I loved that. That was so good. When I was at the airport, before I left, I got a chicken wrap. It was just veggies and chicken in that, no sauces or anything like that. So that was pretty good, to be honest. Really well finding that as well. The next morning I woke up and I was fine. My jet bloat was gone, so I'll put that here. Today is the day after the shoot in Adelaide. I have just woken up and I'm going to give you guys a little body progress report on how my body is tracking after yesterday's jet bloat. So I had jet bloat on the plane and that was not good for the shoot obviously but like what can you do? You can't really like, tell them you can't do it so I just had to get over that and I'm back to normal. <laughs> this is my progress report. I haven't been eating amazingly like not exactly what I should be eating but it actually hasn't been that bad body wise because like I've been eating I've tried to be eating like the same kind of meals consistently so I haven't been going off track haven't been eating any shit or anything like that it's been good like that for sure but my belly is back on track I will yeah let you guys I'll give you guys another check in very soon so far so good so I'm going to be going back on track now and eating the same kind of shit that I should have been eating prior it's got straight back on the bandwagon I had my avocado on my toast and my two eggs on top of that yeah so now I'm making my breakfast making it now and my toast is done. Good morning guys, so I'm going to be having my breakfast. I'm going to be making my breakfast now. So I just sprayed the pan and I'm going to be having two eggs, just fried, and then some toast, one piece of toast, a thin toast preferably, and then a smashed avocado as well on that. So perfect little breakfast. I'll be dipping me up in the morning for lunch. You just won't miss me putting the eggs in the pan. I just put the eggs in the pan. I'm just going to grab a little bit of salt. Put that over while they're not exactly done. Any piece of toast is fine, just put that in the toaster. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to grab an avocado, half an avocado, which is about 100 grams of avocado. 
I just take the pick out and then I um, slice it in there so that it doesn't make it much mess. I can flip these eggs while I can. Yep. You can see it here. Just take the pick out. I just cut it like this. And then I get some lime. Just put a little bit of lime. And then I get some salt. Salt in it. I'm just gonna then do that again and just like squish it all in, as you can see. Toast is ready. Just put that in. And then the I've got a little bit of salt going with that. A tiny bit of lime. And just a little bit of like a chili salt. And I got my eggs. Yum. My lunch, no, 150 grams of sweet potatoes, 100 grams of veggies, and 150 grams of chicken. And I am so hungry. So, second meal of the day coming right up. My banana, my protein, and then my dinner, and then my dessert, which is my oats. So I did that, I was back on track, and I have been doing that ever since. Then, so that was last Wednesday, so every night since then I've done exactly that and I'm very happy with that. My training has stayed like the same, like I've been training a shit ton. I don't think I've had a rest day since I've gotten back just because I've wanted to get back, like my body back into the routine of it because I'm actually, I've woken up the past few days and I'm, I'm not <laughs> motivated. I don't feel motivated to go to the gym. I'm just like not as motivated. Whereas before I went away, I was like, I want to go to the gym every day. I just felt like it, like it was just in my routine. That's the only thing that I'm missing now, but I am getting back on track and I am like today I wanted to go to the gym. It's just a matter of time. I'm just trying to fit everything in. But uni is now done as of like yesterday. So that's so exciting. So now I have so much more time to film videos like this for you guys. And then calls and all that kind of stuff and create more content. So that's exciting. Uh, yeah, so I don't know exactly what my body fat percentage is in my fourth week. I don't know how much I've lost. I don't know what exactly is going on. But we'll find that out Hopefully this week because tomorrow is Wednesday. So it's my fifth week. Yeah, should find out tomorrow uh, well, His fiance actually just won a competition in Miami. I feel like he might be there with her So he might not be training tomorrow because like I mean, why would you not want to be there? <laughs> not imagine that he would be back. He'd be rushing back anytime soon. Either way like I will update you guys sooner than later on exactly what's happening, but that is my progress report at the moment. I am enjoying my meals. I'm, I'm substituting my uh, mince often for my chicken um, just because I kind of sometimes prefer chicken and you can do that because it's the same lean meat kind of thing. And while I was away camping, I did substitute steak for mince because I just found mince was just a lot easier to cope with while camping as well as it's, it's a lot cheaper as well. So if you guys are struggling income wise that is a alternative that you can go for thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it it's a bit of a different one with a little bit of a body update but a little bit of like a vlog in between about like what i've been doing with my shoots with right wear and stuff like that yeah anyways i am wearing a right wear outfit right now so if you guys do want to get a anything from right wear then you can use my code cr10 yeah you can get a discount off that i'm wearing the staples and a staples item at the moment i think it's the nude sports bra like i think it's literally just called the nude sports bra hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below if you guys do want to see any more of these or anything that you do like because it really does support me all right love you guys bye
guys enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and you put a thumbs up because it really does support me if you guys do like this kind of stuff or any of this content then please do let me know so that i can keep creating more content like this for you thanks guys love you all